we want to enable our clients to be able to uh, leverage this tool, access it when on demand when they need it, when they're ready to do their data setups. Something that was web services based and distributable was very important. Uh, I think Pervasive definitely has um, one of the most competitive products in that set since very few are distributable. So uh, leveraging Pervasive's uh, Java SDK API and being able to um, deploy that within our data center. But every conversation we got into with these customers, it, it really revolved around writing code and writing software to integrate with these web services. We wanted to be have Adaptive Connect powered by Pervasive, but we really wanted to be able to offer that as a, as a service to our customers that didn't require that they install software or hardware on their site and maintain it, and it still supported our whole software as a service uh, delivery model and sort of proposition. How do we take this on-demand world we live in and find partners that provide integration solutions that map nicely to the market as it stands today, which wasn't historically the case with integration? And we're finding as well um, now that uh, we've deployed around 700 uh, Salesforce implementations that uh, typically, phase two of projects is wanting to integrate. Phase one is getting Salesforce up and running, and phase two is, okay, well now, how do we even bring more value to our users, or how do we bring commission data into Salesforce, or accounting data into Salesforce, and Pervasive has been um, an amazing tool to allow us to do that for a lot of our customers. It's a great team and, a, and great products, and I think moving to the whole on-demand and Pervasive in the cloud will be very interesting to see um, with all of these things that are web-based now where that goes. Pervasive excels in is now the addition of the processes with web services and SOAP interfaces. Um, so you mix and match it, uh, what you need for a particular client. One can be batch, the other piece can, piece can be bisynchronous, the other piece can say, well, I still want to manage the web service. It could still go directly from one um, system to another. As a software as a service vendor, uh, an on-demand solution, uh, a challenge has always come up to be able to integrate with other line of business applications. And so many of these sort of mission critical line of business applications that are a system of record, a lot of them are behind the firewall. And now software as a service solutions, on-demand solutions such as Salesforce and Receivable On Demand. And now you have you know, Microsoft with you know, Dynamics. Uh, where financial data is stored, trouble ticketing data, issue management data is out there. We've had to have a solution to be able to integrate, pull that information in uh, quickly, cost effectively, without ha needing to develop custom integration solutions, which are, which are brittle, uh, typically. And so I was really looking for a solution that allowed us to connect to a SaaS solution, an on-premise solution, and be able to pull that in together uh, into Daptive. It's no longer adequate to operate just on my cloud. I have to be able to work wherever my customer needs me to work, on anybody's cloud. Software as a service is uh, notoriously, uh, the, the service expectations of the client, how much money they want to spend up front, um, is different than deploying an on-premise solution. A big challenge with software as a service on-demand applications is the initial cost. Uh, it's the initial cost to do the, perform the integration, the ongoing cost of doing that. If you write custom code and develop that, you just never know what your these sort of variable costs are going to be. Well, we're seeing a tremendous amount of interest in uh, cloud computing. So we have a lot of uh, clients that do Salesforce or NetSuite or other hosted applications. And the issue there is they really are looking at improving their business processes and they're taking advantage of this downturn in many cases to um, redo their business processes. It's all about cloud integrating to legacy. What excites me personally is the concept of the cloud and being able to stage these integrations on the pervasive cloud, on the integration cloud, and making it uh, so much easier for our clientele to check a box to select a pre-built integration. We're seeing more and more companies today that have applications, SaaS applications, and they want to be able to integrate those applications together. And so how do you do that today? And I think that pervasive has responded to the marketplace with some very, very valuable tools, the data matcher, 
uh, with data with data rush as well as their uh, cloud integration tool from the actual the engine itself allows us to support multi-tenancy and scalability as we start to roll out more integrations. Having built-in web services is great because you can develop APIs to, to reach out to that and touch our clients' endpoints regardless of their application or platform. So being platform or product agnostic is a great thing.